higher than normal call volume. You may experience a longer than usual wait to reach a representative. Please visit www. Please continue to hold for the next available agent. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been quite a morning. If you're new here, I'm a hairstylist. I am licensed in Pennsylvania and I just moved a few weeks ago to Wilmington, North Carolina. And this morning I was trying to figure out how to get my cosmetology license transferred from Pennsylvania to North Carolina because at the moment I'm taking a little bit of a break from doing hair and I've just been doing YouTube full time. But you know, I wanna have my license so that when the time is right, I can start taking clients again. And in order to legally do hair in a state, you need a cosmetology license under that state that you're working in. So even though I technically am licensed in Pennsylvania, if I were to start doing hair here without a North Carolina license, and someone from the state board caught wind of it or like came in to check, cause that's what they do. Like they will go to all of the salons in the area They'll pop in every so often. They check to make sure that you're following all of like the state guidelines and that you're doing everything correctly. Everyone's licensed, you got all the paperwork you need, etc. And if you get caught, you can get a fine or get your license revoked, etc. Whatever. So it's really important that you are doing everything correctly, have all of like the paperwork and everything's like legal by the book. And so many people were telling me that, oh, the process was so easy. And it was. It ended up being very easy but getting to that point to begin the process was such a pain in the ass <laughs> luckily pennsylvania and north carolina have what's called reciprocity meaning that i can just get my license transferred and i all i have to do is pay a fee i don't have to retest or get additional school hours i needed to reach out to the pennsylvania state board of cosmetology and have them send over proof of my license to north carolina so that then they can print out a north carolina license for me to have I can't just like verify it myself the states have to like communicate with each other and I went on the Pennsylvania State Board cosmetology website like the official state.gov website and I found the link to request this certification and it wasn't working it, they kept telling me that it was a security threat it wouldn't let me open this website i tried multiple browsers i tried on my phone i tried turning my wi-fi off on my phone and just using my data like nothing worked it was not letting me get to this website so i called the state board and i was on hold for like 40 minutes anyway long story short we figured out what the issue was. I was able to get on the website that I need to be on and it was a very easy, quick process. I was able to just do it all online. And once I got to the correct website, it took me all of like maybe five minutes to submit it. So that was good. I just feel like such a weight lifted off my shoulders now that I got that done with. I still am going to have to wait and keep checking in because I submitted the application. Now I just have to wait for Pennsylvania to approve it and send my information over to North Carolina. And then once they get my information, they have to actually like create my license and print it out, mail it to me. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but I will continue updating you guys. I'm about to go take a shower. I feel disgusting. I have not washed my hair in uh, tomorrow will be a full week. So I need to do that. And then I made a wax appointment for myself for one o'clock. So need to pull myself together and get ready for that. <laughs> I was hoping that I would have time to do a little bit of makeup, but I don't. So here's my outfit. Pants are thrifted. Cropped crew neck is from Zara. And then this jacket is from H&M. Got my white Vans on. Let's go to our appointment. I may or may not have just been creeping on my neighbor. <laughs> There's this guy that lives in my apartment complex. And I always see him out walking his dog, but I always see him from like kind of a distance. And like, I can't tell if he's cute or not because I haven't been able to get a good look at his face or see him like super up close. <laughs> so I literally just saw him walking <laughs> by downstairs and I'm like trying to discreetly creep from my balcony and get a good look at him. <laughs> I'm thinking cute, but I still, 
was still kind of far away, so I don't know. I can't I can't say with 100% certainty. But anyway, I got back a few hours ago from my wax. It went so well. I went to a place called Waxing the City which kind of has like a European wax center vibe, but it's like a higher end experience. Like European wax center, they only block out like 15 minutes for each person. So they have to be quick and you have to be in and out. The whole thing just feels like really rushed. But at this place, they block out 30 minutes and they actually leave the room while you undress from the waist down and they give you like a little paper liner thing to put over yourself and it takes longer but they're doing smaller pieces so it's not as painful i mean i've been getting brazilians done for years now so they don't really hurt me anymore anyway but this was like completely painless i'm definitely gonna be going back that's gonna be my new wax place i was looking for something new to start watching and i think i'm gonna start watching sharp objects i like that it's just a mini series because i'm not really in the mood to get invested in a show with like multiple seasons right now oh my god and the worst thing is when you're into a new show but it's not over yet and you get all caught up and then you're like cool now i have to wait a year at least for the next season and then by the time the next season comes out you just lost interest or you forgot what happened in the last season you know what i mean but i feel like that happens all the time so i love a mini series because you get more than you would out of a movie but it's not going to consume your whole life you know like you could just you could do one nice binge in a day <laughs> are you looking at me talk are you listening to me talk to the camera you are just so cute. You're the cutest boy I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah. Oh, you're just so handsome. So handsome. Good afternoon actually i was gonna say good morning it's been like a really slow lazy morning to be honest i took benny out for a walk walked around the apartment a little bit and that's pretty much it <laughs> but i just got a package from sephora so the first thing i got is actually a gift for my mom so if my mother is watching this vlog stop watching right now this is your warning okay I'm giving you a few seconds I got her this little Ole Henriksen kit. I've used this many times in the past. I love these products. It comes with the Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser, the Balancing Force Oil Control Toner, and the Cold Plunge Pour Remedy Moisturizer. They're basically all oil control products. And my mom is one of those people that never did any skincare. And recently, within the last few months, she's all of a sudden interested in skincare and she's been asking me for recommendations. One of her biggest concerns is her skin's really oily. It's nice that it comes in a little kit so it makes it really easy. You just have your three products, pretty standard and basic. So this way she can try them out, see if they work for her. And then if she likes them, she can get the full size. And then for myself, I got the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil I've heard really good things about this and i really like the ordinary as a brand all of their products are super inexpensive i was watching one of taylor Wynn's old vlogs and she was talking about how she was using this to heal a scar from surgery that she had on her neck i have a couple scars from my breast surgery last year that i'm working on <laughs> healing and fading and then i got a new face mask this is the original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay from origins and it sounded right up my alley gently deep cleans while refining skin's texture pores appear to vanish radiance is restored skin looks refreshed flawless feels silky smooth what more could you want, you know? I'm gonna go put this stuff away though. And I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. It's supposed to be like cloudy and kind of like drizzling on and off. So not really an ideal day to go out and do anything. So I'm probably just gonna hang out in the apartment all day.
good morning i just posted a new video and i was reading the comments and a bunch of people were like oh my god i love when you upload you motivate me to be productive and i just feel like this whole week like yes i was getting a lot of stuff done but it was pretty much all stuff that i was just doing from my computer so i was sitting in bed for a lot of the week. I haven't really left the apartment much. Aside from like taking Benny out for walks around the apartment, I haven't actually gone anywhere. And it's just been one of those weeks, I think because it's been kind of cold. It was like a little rainy and cloudy, but it's just been one of those weeks where I just feel kind of like blah. But reading those comments, I was like, you know, I need to get my ass up and I need to like do something today so i don't know if i'm gonna actually go anywhere but i do have a video that i really want to film and i wanted to record some instagram reels because i'm trying to just be a little bit more active i figure right now like while i still am just doing this full time and i'm not working at the salon i have all the time in the world to create as much content as possible post as much as possible you know so that's the plan for today but first i need to take a shower and wash my hair and i thought that i would share with you guys my current hair care routine and what i've been using it's pretty simple i don't really use a lot of products this is the shampoo and conditioner that i've been using lately and i will link everything in the description this is the joyco k-pack color therapy shampoo and conditioner i only wash my hair two times a week and i would say every other time I wash it I use the Fanola no orange blue shampoo to help keep my hair toned and like keep the color looking fresh so it doesn't get brassy and when I use this I still wash because every time I wash my hair I always do two shampoos so one time a week I will just do two shampoos of this and then one time a week I will do my first shampoo with this to get it nice and clean and then this as my second shampoo to help tone it and i feel like your hair takes this better when it's already clean and you already did like one wash with a regular shampoo and then every so often maybe like every other week i use the joyco k-pack hydrator intense treatment and i just let that sit on for a few minutes after i get out of the shower i'll show you what i put in my hair when it's wet and how i blow it out and all that stuff and stephanie harlow just posted a new video so you know i'm gonna be playing that while I shower and get ready. <laughs> so after I get out of the shower, I wrap my hair in one of these towels. It's like a nice soft microfiber, so it's not as rough on your hair as a regular towel. And it really like sucks up a lot of the moisture pretty quickly. And then I brush through my hair with my Framar brush. This is like basically like a wet brush. The bristles are like super flexible, so it's nice and gentle. And I start from the bottom. And you can see I like hold my hair in the other hand just to make sure I'm not like tugging at it. And I'm being as gentle as possible. Just work my way up to the top. And then I have been using the Nutri One 10 Actions Fanola Spray. This is like their version basically of it's a 10. It smells exactly the same too. So I just spray this all throughout. And then I try to leave it alone and just let it air dry a decent amount before I actually start blow drying it. So I'm going to go make myself another cup of coffee and do my makeup and let this air dry a little bit in the meantime. Let's go do that. Every time I show my coffee in a vlog, I always get questions about what I put in it, how do I make it, and literally all I ever do is put half and half in it. Occasionally, if I'm making an iced coffee, I'll add this Tazo chai latte if I want to do like an iced dirty chai, but it's usually just some kind of like plain unsweetened creamer. I do not like super sweet coffees. I just use my Nespresso and that is what gives it the foam on top and why it looks so fancy. And my favorite Nespresso pods are the Malazio. This is my absolute favorite one. Trust me, if you have one of these, 
you will never go back. Like you just can't. Anytime I have a plain regular cup of coffee nowadays, it just tastes like dirty water. <laughs> and I will put a link to the machine that I have in the description because there's a few different Nespresso machines and they have two different lines. They have the original line, which I believe only makes espresso. The one I have makes espresso and regular coffee too. So you can do like a regular full cup. And I like mine a lot because it's more versatile and I feel like you get, you know, more use out of it. See, when Louis Sr. had died, he'd left a prosperous business and an estate worth at least $1.2 million, which included an apartment complex, a hotel in New Jersey. In 1989, Louis found himself at the center of a political corruption scandal. Makeup is done. I used... So I always get asked when I do this lip combo, and this has been like my go-to for months now. The KKW Beauty Nude One Lip Liner. I don't know if these are still available. I think she was just changing the packaging. I don't know, but I got this stuff a while ago from Ulta. And then the Nude One Lipstick on top. The lip liner, even though they're the same shade, it's a little bit darker. So I feel like it kind of contours my lips a little bit. And then I just put the lipstick towards the center and I blend it out. And then I just do a clear lip gloss. This one's just from Pixie. Anyway, so now I'm ready to blow dry my hair. At this point, it's like, I don't know, I would say maybe 75% dry. I don't like to do this on soaking wet hair because it just takes way too long. And then you end up having to use more heat. So I'm using my... Dyson blow dryer and my Olivia Garden round brush like a pretty big thick round brush so it really gives a lot of volume So this last section, which is really just like my bang area, I'm going to wrap my brush behind the hair and I'm going to over direct it forward like this. And that's going to be a really nice, beautiful swoop. And then after I get it dry, I'm gonna wrap it around this roller and let it set like that. And that's what's gonna give me like the beautiful va va voom blowout look. Once it feels cold to the touch, which it does right now. And then there you go. So easy. So from here, the last thing that I will do is add a little bit of serum to the ends just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. This is also from the Nourishing line from Fanola. This smells so good, like candy. I always usually just take like one and a half pumps of that, rub it between my hands, and then I just ever so slightly run it through the ends. That video went very well. I had my camera in front of the window and I had the blinds all the way open so I could get a lot of natural light. Even though I know that my neighbors technically can't see me, but I still kept feeling like they could, you know? But I feel so good and productive now that I got that out of the way. That video is gonna be a pain in the ass to edit so I'm gonna have to really cut it down because I feel like I was talking forever but I think it's gonna come out really good I'm excited for that now I need to make myself something to eat because I got so caught up in getting ready and then I wanted to film right away so now it's 2 45 and I have yet to eat anything oh but I did want to update you I got my license already what the hell they emailed me 
yesterday and it already went through and was processed so i haven't gotten the physical copy yet they said that that should be arriving in the mail within the next five days um, but i have the digital copy and i was able to go on the north carolina state board of cosmetology website and like verify that i am a licensed cosmetologist in north carolina now so it is official. I did not expect it to be that fast, but I think because I did it online, it just was like an automatic process. Like I don't think an actual person had to physically do anything. At least I'm assuming, because it was just way quicker than I expected. A lot of people were telling me like, oh, you should do it soon because it's probably gonna take at least a few weeks, if not a couple of months. I could go find a job and start doing hair tomorrow if I wanted to, but I'm really not in any rush. And I feel guilty about it because a lot of people have been messaging me on Instagram asking like, oh, when are you going to start taking clients again? And I know so many people are excited for me to start doing hair down here. And I am so flattered by that because most of the time, if you're a hairstylist and you move to a totally different state, you really have to start from the bottom up rebuilding your clientele. Like nobody knows you, nobody's booking with you right away. So I feel like I have such an amazing opportunity because so many people have expressed interest in getting their hair done. At the same time, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Not saying that I don't want to do hair anymore because I do love it so much. It's still a huge passion of mine. Being able to do YouTube and social media full time right now is so fun for me. And like, don't get me wrong, like I feel spoiled as hell and I'm so grateful that I even have this as an option, but it's really nice being able to just work from home and make my own schedule, not be forced to have to leave the house if I'm not feeling up to it and not having to be around people and i feel like just in the last couple of weeks of me doing this full time and being able to dedicate all of my time to it my channel is doing really well like it's growing faster it's really one of those things where you get out of it what you put into it and it's just nice to have this opportunity like i've been doing youtube since i was in college it's been like almost 10 years now and as much as i love doing hair and being in a salon i also love doing this too so it's nice to have the opportunity to focus fully on this for the first time ever and not have to also juggle it with something else and i kind of just want to see like where can i go with this you know and i feel like youtube might not be around forever i don't know how long i'll be able to do this for a living but hair i know i can always go back to that so i don't know i think i'm going to stop putting pressure on myself and stop putting a time limit on when I'm gonna go back to doing hair and I'm just gonna take each day at a time and just see how I feel. And once I get to the point where I really miss being in a salon and I want to start doing hair again, then I will. But until then, I'm not going to keep saying like, oh, in another month, oh, in two months, like I don't know when I'm gonna go back. And I've always said like, oh, I don't think I could do YouTube full time because I need something that forces me to get out of the house and be around people. And I do still think that that's true. So we'll see. Once I get to that point where I feel like, okay, I need something to force me to get out of the house, then, you know, I'll figure it out. I just kind of wanted to like be vulnerable and share what's been on my mind because I felt a lot of guilt too. I'm like, you can't just do this. Like you have to go find a salon, you have to start working. And I don't know too, like what I wanna do exactly. Like, do I wanna just find a salon and be an employee there? Or do I wanna try to do my own thing and get a salon suite? But then I, like, I don't know, do I want the responsibility of that? Do I want the financial responsibility of that? I always tell myself, as long as my bills are paid and I'm happy, that's all that matters. I think I get so caught up, like I see so many other hairstylists that are just like killing it and being so successful and owning their own business. And I feel like, oh, I should be doing that too. I'm just doing everything at my own pace and just focusing on one day at a time and what makes me happy on that particular day. I'm happy that I was able to vent that and finally like say it out loud because these are things that I've been thinking the last few weeks, but I will continue to keep you guys posted, of course. Anyway, I am going to make something to eat. I don't... Mm. I think I'll probably just make eggs and some toast. Ooh, I have strawberries too. I forgot I got these. 
So yeah, I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. I have the sourdough bread. I'm gonna toast up a slice of that with some eggs. And uh, we're gonna have breakfast at 3 p.m. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I'll start a new one this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you being here. The fact that you take time out of your day to watch my videos just blows my mind and it means so, so much to me. So thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.